Hey everyone, this is Jay Walling with LMR.com. Today we're going to go over the basic steps for checking compression on your Mustang. These steps will be shown on this 2004 Comp Orange GT behind me. These steps will be specific to this year model, but overall can be used on pretty much any year out there. Having low compression can cause numerous issues on your Mustang. This can be anything from low power, oil consumption, and overall drivability issues. Let's go over these steps to show you what's involved. First, start by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Next, spray the engine bay with compressed air. This will include isolating the area around the coil on the engine. Remove the intake tube from the passenger side of the engine. We chose to remove the idle air and the TPS sensor connectors to help free up some extra room. Disconnect the coil and the injector harnesses. Now you can remove the 8mm bolts holding the coil in place. Remove the coils from the vehicle and set aside. Spray down the spark plug holes one last time to ensure no dirt and debris is present. Remove all the spark plugs from the cylinder head. Now, install your compression gauge on the number one cylinder. Reconnect a negative battery terminal. The point here is to have the engine turn over but not start. This is also why we disconnected the injectors earlier. Removing all possibilities of spark and fuel are your best course of action overall. Moving inside the vehicle, start by depressing the accelerator pedal all the way to the floor. By doing this, you will be putting your vehicle into clear flood mode, which cuts all the fuel to the injectors, just to make sure there is not a chance of accidental startup. Turn the key and make sure you spin the engine over at least four complete cycles. This will ensure that all valves open and close properly. Document your reading on the gauge. Clear the gauge. And move on to your next cylinder. Once completed, reinstall all components and check your work. From our highest to lowest readings, we had fairly close numbers. This would be considered normal overall. If you had one that was clearly lower than all the other cylinders, you know you may have an issue there with that one. Overall, this procedure should take you roughly about an hour or so to do in your driveway. And again, this can be a helpful diagnostic tool to help you with anything from an engine misfire, overheating, and even drivability issues. Make sure to like this video, share them, and subscribe to our channel. And as always, make sure you stay up to date with us at the real Mustang enthusiasts here at LMR.com.